which sequence of laboratory procedures can be used to separate salt from a sand and salt mixture? A. Extraction, filtration, evaporation. B. Filtration, extraction, evaporation. C. Evaporation, filtration, extraction. Or D. Extraction, evaporation, filtration. Infiltration, a mixture of solid and liquid is run through a filter paper, which will trap the solid and let the liquid pass through. Filtration will not work as a first step in this case since we have a mixture of two solids, sand and salt. Evaporation involves heating the mixture, which turns the liquid into a gas which leaves behind the solid. Evaporation will not work as a first step in this case either since we do not have a liquid. The correct answer must be choice A. Extraction followed by filtration then evaporation. Extraction is a technique that takes advantage of differences in solubility. Salt will dissolve in water but sand will not. So the first thing we need to do is add water to our sand and salt mixture. This will extract the salt from the sand and salt mixture. Then we do a filtration. Here's a typical laboratory setup for filtration. A funnel is mounted on a ring stand. A piece of filter paper is folded to fit into the funnel. We pour our mixture into the funnel. The same will be trapped in the paper. The water, which contains the dissolved salt, passes through the filter paper and is collected in a beaker. The salt and water mixture is called the filtrate. Finally, we put the salt and water mixture in an evaporating dish. The mixture is then heated. Water turns into a gas and the salt is left behind in the evaporating dish. Note that if we were to do evaporation after extraction as in choice D, our residue will just get back to the original sand and salt mixture. So the correct answer is A. First we extract or selectively dissolve the salt from the mixture using water. Then we filter the entire mixture to separate the sand from the salt water mixture, which becomes a filtrate. Then we heat our filtrate in an evaporating dish to remove the water and recover the salt.